If you would like to get a free swim form analysis like this one, click on the link below to sign up. Hey Sean, thanks for sending me your swim video. The first thing I'm looking at is stroke rate um, and your time per 25, which are pretty even. Um, something to take note of yourself is what kind of rate of perceived effort you were going during this 100 swim. Um, the first 25, your stroke was 20 strokes in about 21 seconds. The second 25, your stroke rate was 20, 21, and 24 seconds. The third 25, your stroke rate was 21 again in about 20 seconds. And then the second, or sorry, the fourth 25, more of the same thing. So your stroke count was very consistent. And like you said, your total time was around a 136. You look very comfortable. Um, I believe you probably have a really strong underwater pull. It's hard to tell with you swimming in that second lane if you were swimming in the first lane and or if I saw you underwater. I'd be able to see more about what's going on with the pull. But because your stroke count is within that 20 to 22 range, that tells me your underwater pull is fairly strong. So what I'm looking at first is breathing body balance rotation. And as I'm looking at that, I'm stopping the video during those um, phases of the stroke, so when you breathe. And the, the main thing I can see with your breathing is instead of rotating and rotating from your hip to take a breath, it looks like you have a slight tilt of your neck and your entire face comes out of the water. So I want you to watch this video, think about what I said, and then pause the video while you're breathing and you're going to see what I mean. It's like you're lifting your head. Every time you lift your head like that, it's so slight, um, your lower body sinks a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind, especially when you start sighting in open water, um, being very mindful of um, sighting and lifting your, your chin up slightly. Um, like alligator eyes when you're sighting. So body balance rotation looks pretty good just so you know the weight of your body should be on your sternum with your chin tilted down. You're breathing every fourth stroke so hopefully while you're keeping your head down and swimming over that black line you're watching what's going on with your stroke mechanics catch and push underneath your body all the way past your hip. Um, rotation wise looks pretty good again I can see a slight rotation even though you're not bilateral breathing right now I can see that you're rotating just want you to know that you want to drive your rotation with your underwater catch and push so let's look, look at the mechanics after I look at breathing body balance rotation I'm looking at the three main phases of the stroke recovery hand entry underwater catch and push the recovery set you up for a hand entry. The hand entry actually sets you up for a stronger catch and push. So let's talk about recovery. As you're swimming, um, I can see potentially some shoulder problems happening. Again, I'm pausing the video and in your, in your hand is way high. You have your hand above your elbow and this is, I wish I could do a screenshot and you could see exactly what I'm talking about. So your hand's coming out a little bit too high. That's going to cause a little bit of a wider arm recovery as well as a flatter hand entry. And it's mostly that right arm that's coming out high, which I'm surprised because you're a left side breather. Your left side isn't coming out quite as high but I can see as your left arm is coming out of the water, your elbow drops It's versus being pointed up to the ceiling. So for you, um, thumb slide drills, fingertip drag drills to fix that recovery to help maintain your fingertips below your wrist, below your elbow. And that leads into hand entry. Your hand entry actually is not as flat and shallow as I thought it was. You want to make sure you're mindful of, of entering the water with your fingertips, wrist, and elbow. And despite that high, high hand arm recovery, it looks like you are doing that. 
So I just want to just want you to be mindful of that. Um, I'm trying to pause the video with that hand entry, and I think it actually looks pretty good. Again, you're a little bit far away to see it clearly, but I'm not too concerned with that. I think the recovery fingertip drag and thinking about fingertip drag fist um, entering the water with a closed fist punching the water so you could exaggerate that hand entry to get a deeper angled hand entry so you can get a deeper catch and push pull more water with every arm stroke it's going to make you stronger you might get your stroke count down to about 19 or 20 and it actually may help you go faster um, with less strokes stronger more powerful strokes go faster with less effort. So that's what I'm seeing. Again, um, I just really being mindful of exhaling as you rotate to inhale, doing the fingertip drag fist drill, or sorry, fingertip thumb slide and fist drill to emphasize the high elbow recovery hand entry. And that fist drill will also help emphasize a high elbow catch and push all the way past your hip. Anyways, if you have questions, um, you can call and leave us a voicemail on speakpipe.com slash endurance hour, or you can just shoot me an email and let me know what kind of questions you have. And you can also send me a video of you doing the drills so I can make sure you're doing them right and all that fun stuff. Make it a great day.